Hello and welcome to the course on Microsoft Excel 2016. Great to have you. I'd like to give you a brief overview of how I designed the course curriculum, what you'll need to get started, the concepts you'll learn throughout the course, and what to expect in each section so that it will be easy to navigate your way through. I've designed the curriculum with a few key things in mind. The first is spiral structure. The focus of the curriculum is to continuously practice skills we've learned as we learn new concepts. So as we move up levels in the spiral, we'll be cementing core concepts from our previous sections. Based on industry experience, this course is designed to meet the demands of the workplace, not to showcase the software. I've had experience working in the startup world, as well as corporate finance and banking, and the curriculum is designed to enable success in those environments. Example based. Each concept is built around a business need. Many of our examples span multiple lectures, and we focus specifically on when and how each concept is useful. High volume functions. In English, the 100 most commonly used words make up half of all written material. This course focuses on high volume functions in Excel to accelerate your literacy in becoming a power user. No bells and whistles. Many Excel courses cover every piece of the functionality of the software. This course does not because nobody actually uses all of that. This course will show you every tool you need to thrive in the business environment without wasting your time learning things you'll never use. Each course section is focused on a key area of expertise we're going to develop. Let's walk through the curriculum so you know what to expect. Section 1. Welcome to the course. In this section, we'll be walking through the curriculum, reviewing course materials and requirements, and discussing the difference between Excel and Windows versus Mac operating systems. Section 2. Basic formulas and formatting. First, we'll learn the basic concepts behind building automated models with clear structure. Then we'll cover foundational concepts in formula building and formatting, and then we'll learn some industry lingo and custom format tricks. Section 3. How to increase speed 3x by abandoning the mouse. Great users in Excel whiz through the software without the mouse, while their counterparts stumble through. Many investment banks will take the mouse away from new analysts. We're going to practice navigating around and between sheets, through the menu bar, and learn some high volume shortcuts to crank up your speed. Section 4. Clean and manipulate data sets. Data is often in the wrong format for us to analyze it. We'll learn how to clean, combine and split data, and then we'll learn how to filter and sort data sets. Section 5. Present and visualize data. Just because you've created a chart doesn't mean you've made it easier to understand the data. In this section, we'll learn some of the theory behind data visualization, how to choose the best type of visualization for your data, and then we'll learn how to create some beautiful dual axis charts visualizing two types of data on the same chart. Section six, investigate business questions using conditional statements. Conditional statements are some of the most flexible and powerful functions in Excel. They're incredibly helpful for analyzing data. We'll learn how to write sophisticated if then, nested if, sum if, and count if functions, as well as the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. Section seven, Analyze the sensitivity of results to changes in variables using what-if analysis. What-if analysis allows us to evaluate many different complex what-if scenarios for businesses and are extremely valuable for evaluating risk. We'll learn about the goal seek function and building sensitivity tables. Section eight, slice, dice, and extract rapid insights from data sets using pivot tables. Pivot tables allow us to analyze very large data sets on the fly without writing any formulas. They're quick to learn and performing analysis with them is very fast. We'll learn how to investigate a large data set using pivot tables. What you'll need to begin. First off, please download the two course files attached to this lecture. These files have all the curriculum that we will cover. One file will have the completed exercises and one will have blank exercises. Please follow along with the blank file and use the other file if you get lost or have additional questions. Microsoft Excel on Windows operating system. In order to follow along with this course, you should have a Windows operating system. Microsoft Excel 2016 is not required and you will not have problems navigating the software with an earlier version, although the layout may look slightly different, but you must have a Windows operating system. Windows versus Mac Excel. Does it matter? It does. 
Almost every company uses the Windows operating system to run Excel, and unfortunately, the software is quite different in Windows versus Mac. Developing power user skills don't translate very well across operating systems. You'll need to learn the Windows version of Excel to set yourself up for career success. So the similarities are that the basic functionality of the software is the same, meaning you can accomplish the same things and the formula syntax is the same. However, the differences are that the layout is totally different. The menus, navigation, and keyboard shortcuts, the keys to becoming a high speed power user, are all different. So the key takeaway here is that you're, if you're going to become a power user on one operating system, use Windows. Okay, let's open up our course file and jump into our next section, formatting and basic formulas.